Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. My name is Luke and today we are going to be heading to Lava Ridge's gym and getting our fourth badge. But before that, let's find out what this is all about. Lava Ridge Town is called Lava Ridge Town for a reason. Enjoy as much hot water as we need and yet this hot springs never run dry. Isn't it magical? So yes, this Pokemon Center has hot springs in the back. Now... There's really not much use to this unless you want to, you know, bath with old ladies. I mean, some people really might want to bath with old ladies, but, you know, there's that. Um, well, anyway, in here there is an item, I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. Yep, there we go. What, what are the chances there's an ice heel in the uh, hot springs? So, yeah. Very clever game, freak. We understand this. You made us bathe with old ladies just to get an ice seal. Thank you. In any case, there's also these, like, sunbed things. Like, ah, uh, yeah, that's good. And if you talk to this woman, which I am not going to do because I don't have a slot in my party, she will give you an egg. This egg will eventually hatch into the Pokemon Wynort, a prevolution of, oops, a prevolution pre of Wobbuffet. And, well... Uh, I would hatch it, but I really don't want any of my teams to get underleveled by having the egg in my party because this is the new team. Well, this is the full team. So, there's that. Uh, also, it is important to note that relatively soon we will be able to go back to Slateport and find the name rater. And um, I would like nicknames for Aaron. If you can leave any suggestions for Aaron's nickname down in the comment section below then when I get to Slateport I will fix Zephyr and Reservoir's name and I will also give Aaron a nickname yes I also spelt Reservoir wrong because well I don't know what I was thinking to be honest I was having an off day then because there's supposed to be an R so yeah there's three R's in Reservoir not two so I will go and fix the names that I spelt wrong and then I will go and give Aaron a nickname as soon as uh, as soon as we get back to Slateport. So please leave your comments for what you think Aaron's name should be. But without further ado, well this is just a Pokemon Herb shot, we don't need that. But without any more interruptions, let us head into... Hold on, we want Reservoir out first. Let us head into Lava Ridge Town Gym. What type could it be? Gosh, I don't know. Hey. Lavrish Gym Leader Flannery uses fire type Pokemon. I never would have guessed. Oh no, I talked to him again. Okay, so that was a mistake. Okay, well, whatever. This is the standard Pokemon Gym that's in pretty much every region, the standard teleport pad gym. Really hate these kind of gyms. Um, I have forgotten the exact order in which I need to do this. It's not there though. And yes, yeah, some of them are turn out to be apparently ninja trainers. You no, know, you know, they're cool trainers. This guy's got one Pokemon. It's a Kecleon. We haven't actually seen a Kecleon yet. Kecleon is a really interesting Pokemon. Uh, what it will do is Kecleon... Well, this is why it's interesting. It is a normal type, but every time you attack it, its type changes to the type of move you attacked it with. In which case, I'm going to use Rollout. Um... Hopefully miss the next one and then use Water Gun to be super effective. It's a decent Pokemon. It's got a alright ability, I guess. It, its ability can be the end of it, though. Just because it's, you know, it's all down to how you use the thing. I don't really like it myself, but, you know, it's there. It's one of the rarer Pokemon in this gen. You only get a few chances to capture it, actually. There's only a select few chances, so there's that. Um, I missed my last rollout, so I should be able to water gun and be super effective. Yep, and it was a critical hit, and it didn't do hardly any damage. I think. So yeah, see, Kecleon's color change made it water type, so there's that. Quite an unlucky battle that we got straight off the bat here, to be honest. We got um, a really tough battle, considering we, were, we, got, we sent out a reservoir first. But uh, I'm actually going to switch out my Pokemon right now because I don't want Reservoir out first. It's not 
gonna be good. How about Aaron? What are you? Um, I believe ground is super effective against steel if that means anything. So I guess we could metacore then mud slap, then follow it up with a head. But yeah, yeah, we'll shift Aaron out. He's a tank. He can tank a few shots for us. So we'll send Aaron out. Oh, these fury swipes do one damage. <laughs> Poor Kecleon, he did not see this coming. Ah, oh, this is maybe going to be a long battle. I'm not going to cut this battle out, though, I don't think. Um, if I'm going to cut it out... Oh, Jesus Christ, what? Um, okay. What the hell was that? He cannot... Wow, uh... Yeah, I'm going to cut the rest of this battle out, guys. So I'll see you at the end of the battle. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that battle is actually over now. And Yokoi started evolving, which is interesting. So, yeah. Finally, Yokoi is evolving. And with that, our little Ralts turns into a Curlia. Um, finally, Yokoi is actually going to be useful. Because Curlia is one of the... Harder stages to get this thing to. Uh, three of our Pokemon leveled up there, actually. We uh, leveled up Reservoir, we leveled up Yokoi, and we leveled up Flare. So, yeah, that was all around quite decent. In any case, uh, I don't think we need the EXP share on Yokoi anymore. So, we're going to take that. We're going to give it to Zephyr, because Zephyr is severely underleveled, considering how late we got this. And... where are you? Ah... Uh, EXP share. There we go. Alright, so... Without further ado... We head onwards in this annoying gym that no one likes. Okay, hopefully I can... Oh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Yeah, I forget the order of this gym. It's not, you know, because it's the fourth gym, you usually forget the fourth gym. Well, could I get in there? Jesus. Alright, um, this one? No, no, it wasn't that one. Alright, well, at least this time we got a fire type trainer rather than a goddamn Kecleon tamer. What the hell? Okay, this is Kindler Axel. I'm gonna cut this battle out, guys. I will see you at the end. And with that, we beat Kindler Axel. So, I'm actually going to go use the Soda Pot on the Zoomeril because the Zoomeril got quite hurt there. And I'm not actually sure if we're going to beat Flannery first time because, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be quite tough. But anyway, I'm going to say this then. Oh, okay, we might be on the right track here. Just need to get this one right. Is this the right one? I think it might be. Okay, no, we don't need to just get that one right. Is it this one? Ah, oh, I think we messed up. Did we? No? Just go in here. We didn't mess up! Yes! Okay, we did it. Um, alright, we finally made it to Flannery. Now, what do I want out first? This is a fire type trainer. I know what she has. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Reservoir out. I'm gonna try something with Rollout that hopefully, if it works, will crush Flannery instantly. If it doesn't, then we'll be in trouble. Because the rest of our Pokemon are quite weak. Aaron has already fainted. My citizen is weak. Uh, Yokoi isn't weak, but is, you know, not got any really good attacking moves. Um, Flare is alright against fire types and Jesus that did a lot of damage all right I'm happy with that she's used sunny day so yeah water moves are out of the question my entire plan for this gym is to spam roll out and hope we don't miss a single one because we have the potential to take out all our Pokemon in one sweep with roll out this is why I love roll out so much slugma is down she has another slugma Hopefully, if this rollout hits, this Slugma will go down straight away, I, I would think. So, will it hit? Yes, it does. Okay. So, will that take the Slugma out? Yes, it will. This is why I love rollout so much, guys. This is 
going to be insane if we can take the final Pokemon out in one sweep. This is Torkoal. You might, may remember that when we were on Fire Path, I was talking about a rare Pokemon you can catch there. That was Torkoal. We never actually saw it, but that is what it looks like. It is level 28. It is a tank. It is so strong. Rollout hits, but I don't know how much that's going to do. Oh, wow. That is the... That was so good. That was so beautiful. Alright, Flannery just got leveled. Flannery just got leveled, son. My gosh. Never underestimate rollout. Ho ho ho. Wow. I wasn't expecting that rollout to take out that Torco because it's such a tank of a Pokemon. Usually it tanks about 10 water guns before it goes down. But wow. I was not expecting to take out Flannery with only one move. Just roll out. What, like, one use of roll out. Wrecked Flannery. She just got steamrolled. Jesus. That was just brilliant. That was such a good, uh... That was just crazy. I can't even believe that. We didn't even lose any health. She did nothing. She used Sunny Day and that was it. Alright, so we get a heat badge with that, so that's really awesome. It lets Pokemon use the HM move strength outside of battle. Um, if you remember, we got strength from the guy at Rustav Tunnel after we unblocked it with Rock Smash, so... You do need strength for story progression in this game, and it's really well hidden, I must say, so yeah. In any case, we get Overheat. This is what her Torkoal would have used... If this is what our Torkoal would have used if we hadn't taken it out straight away, she has a tactic where I believe she uses overheat and then follows it up by I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure she follows it up then by using something like a uh, whatever it is that raises special attack, like a dire heal, whatever. Um, good tactic if that's what she actually uses, but I'm not sure. But overheat is such a powerful move anyway. But with that, Flannery gets leveled. Leveled in about, in literally one turn. That was just, that was so good. That was the best gym. That took us, that took us three minutes, including the talking. Anyway, what what is May doing here? Luke, long time no see. Oh, oh well, I was visiting the hot springs. You got the Lavarish gym badge. You must have caught good Pokemon. No, I guess you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. And with that, we get the Go Go, the Go the Go goggles. Yeah. The Go Goggles. Uh, with those Go Goggles, you'll have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. But wow, Luke. Challenging gyms. You're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. Luke, I think we should challenge your dad in Pelper Gym. See you again. And with that, May is off. So yeah, the next gym leader is our dad in Petalburg Gym. That is crazy. It's... I can't believe we just leveled Flannery that easily. That was... I was expecting a tough battle. I said we might even lose if uh, Azumaru went down. And Azumaru could have easily gone down to an overheat. But, Jesus. Just just straight out leveled Flannery. That, that, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. In a Pokemon game, ever. The first time I've beaten a gym leader without taking any damage. That is actually the first time that that's happened. That is insane. I just, I can't even believe that. Anyway, uh, the next gym is in Petalburg, so actually we are going to get the chance now to go back to Slateport, which is what I was mentioning earlier. Um, we get the chance to go back to Slateport, so yeah. Before we head off and end this episode, please comment your nicknames for Aaron, because I have no idea what to call him. And I will also go and fix the two names that I misspelled. But yeah, please give me your nicknames for Aaron. It would be, and I just realised we've got like four females and two males, so that's interesting. Anyway, I forgot the teleport actually worked outside of battle. Oh yeah, no, because I did it when I was trying to go. Whatever. Uh, um. Anyway, we this episode we actually got your koi. Um. Didn't learn psychic, unfortunately, which is a really good move. We still only got one attacking move, which is really interesting. 
But in any case, I'm just going to head down this ledge and then end this off. And all right, there we go. If you you make sure don't hop up down all those ledges at once because up here you can get a nugget. This is important. It sells for five thousand poker dollars. So make sure to pick that up. And no, Ooh, okay. Uh, I forgot about the trainers on this route. Um. All right. Well, we. I was going to say we snuck past those. But we didn't. Anyway, next step. Okay, whatever. Let me just run from this. Because I don't really like to end things off in the middle of a battle. Anyway. <laughs> Let me just get out of this gra... Uh, so, oh yeah, you can catch my chop here. That's something I probably should have mentioned, actually. I can't believe we didn't see one. Uh, you can catch my chop in Fiery Tunnel. Is it Fiery Tunnel? Fiery Path, Fiery Path. And this area is where you catch my chop in this game. Um, Machop is not the best Pokemon. It does evolve into something decent. I don't really like using it though. So yeah, that's why I didn't want to pick one up. Plus we already have a fighting type for um, Flare. But, you know, there's that. So, let me try and sneak... No, actually, right. We got the Go Goggles, right? So, these Go Goggles will actually allow us now to go into the desert. So, if, if I will... You know what, I'll, I'll show you what can actually be found here, because, yeah, we were bound to run into a battle. Uh, you can get sand through here, that's just obvious because it's called sand through, and this is a desert full of sand. Uh, the desert will always have a sandstorm raging, which is really rather annoying, occasionally. But um, over here, you want to pick this up, that's a stardust, that also sells for a lot of money. So, yeah, you want to definitely pick that up. I'm going to wait until we find the other rare Pokemon that you can find here. So, we... That that rock that that um, hiker is guarding has a Stardust on it. So, you want to make sure to pick that up and then get away if you don't want to battle the hiker, which I don't want to battle the hiker. Um, walking in this thick sand will cause a battle to appear. But this is a Baltoy. This is Ground Psychic type, and... Baltoy is really, really interesting. It's a good Pokemon. I like using it. Just didn't want to use it in this run because I really wanted to use Aron. Baltoy is more of a late game Pokemon. and Well, I didn't want to use it for that reason. Uh, this rock here... Uh, uh, oh, I might as well talk about this. This is Cacnea. This is a Grass Dark type. Um, I love it. It's one of my favourite Pokemon. Uh, it evolves into Cacturn at level whatever, I don't know, level 30 some I think. But um, Cacnea is decent. It's not a bad Pokemon, so definitely pick that up if you're looking for a grass type. And it's also got the dark subtype as well, so it's really good. This rock here, this will be very important later on in the game, so make sure you remember that that's there. Because that is going to be incredibly important a lot later in the game. And the foot, wow, we found all the different Pokemon you can catch here all in like one go. Like, that was awesome. We never got a duplicate. So, uh, this is Trap Inch, and I was considering using one for my team. This is a ground type at the moment, just a default ground type. But it does eventually evolve into a dragon ground type. I think it's dragon ground, might be dragon flying, I don't know. It, it, I think, yeah, it evolves into a dragon ground type eventually. So, it, it takes a long time to level up though, and it's really not that useful until you can at least get it to the second evolution, which is like level 30 something. I think it's level 35, and then from there level 50, or level 55, or something like that. So yeah, it takes a long time to level up, but it is a great Pokemon, I would recommend it, and it also does have Arena Trap as its ability, which prevents escape. Which is unfortunate for us, it's a crap ability for a trainer, because... Why would you want to prevent your opponent from escaping? Your opponent can't even... The, the only reason that would be good is to catch some of the roaming legendaries like Suicune or something. Um, because, quite honestly, otherwise there's absolutely no point in having Arena Trap as your ability. But it doesn't matter. It can have another ability. I can't remember which one it is. Anyway, the Trap Inch goes down. We gain 100 experience from that. Jesus. Uh, anyway, I'm going to use a Repel now because we've seen all of the Pokemon here. And there is one thing that we can do here that we're going to want to do before you head to Petalburg. And trust me, you'll be kicking yourself if you do this before you head back to Petalburg. You'll be kicking yourself extremely hard. Trust me on that. Because over here, 
Remember that fossil maniac in Falaba Town? He was saying that we could find fossils in the desert. Well, <laughs> that's uh, that's really important because we can find two fossils here. Yeah, Gen 2 didn't have two fossil Pokemon. Every other Pokemon game has had two po fossil Pokemon. So, in this generation, the second set of fossil Pokemon, despite this being Gen 3, you can either have the root fossil, or you can have the claw fossil. Unfortunately, you can't have the helix fossil. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, um, the claw fossil will revive into Anorith. It's a steel bug type, I want to say. Steel rock, rock bug. It's either rock, bug, steel, but it's, it's a combination of rock, steel, and bug somewhere in there. Uh, it's a decent Pokemon, I would recommend it, but I kind of prefer, I kind of prefer the root fossil more, because this actually, well, you know what, we'll keep it a secret. I'm not going to use it on my team, but you know what, no, because you might be at the point in the game where you got to choose a fossil. So... The root fossil evolves into a grass rock type, and that's all I'm going to say. If you want a really good grass rock type, take the root fossil. If you want a steel bug, rock bug, I don't know what bug it is. If you want, I think it's, wait, no, every single fossil has rock as its typing. So, yeah, rock bug. If you want a rock bug or a grass rock Pokemon, it's really up to you. Just... You know, now you know which fossils they are. In any case, we're done with the desert. That was... Well, we're not done. We'll, we'll come back a lot later on in the game. And I never actually fought this trainer. I'm not going to go and fight this trainer for you guys on screen now. Because, you know, this episode is really dragging on quite a bit now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon Ruby, we're going to be heading to Petalburg, nicknaming Aaron and fixing our old nicknames and we're going to be taking on our dad in Petalburg Gym so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see hey guys and welcome back to let's play Pokemon Ruby my name is Luke and today we are going to be heading to Lava Ridge's gym and getting our fourth badge but before that let's find out what this is all about Lava Ridge Town is called Lava Ridge Town for a reason. Enjoy as much hot water as we need, and yet this hot springs never run dry. Isn't it magical? So yes, this Pokemon Center has hot springs in the back. Now, there's really not much use to this unless you want to, you know, bath with old ladies. I mean, some people really might want to bath with old ladies, but, you know, there's that. Um, well, anyway... In here, there is an item, I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. Yep, there we go. What What are the chances there's an ice heal in the uh, hot springs? So, yeah. Very clever game, Freak. We understand this. You made us bathe with old ladies just to get an ice heal. Thank you. In any case, there's also these, like, sunbed things. Like, ah, uh, yeah, that's good. And if you talk to this woman, which I am not going to do because I don't have a slot in my party, she will give you an egg. This egg will eventually hatch into the Pokemon Wynort, a pre-evolution of, oops, a pre-evolution pre of Wobbuffet. And, well, uh, I would hatch it, but I really don't want any of my teams to get underleveled by having the egg in my party because this is the new team. But this is the full team. So, there's that. Uh, also, it is important to note that relatively soon we'll be able to go back to Slateport and find the name rater. And I would like nicknames for Aaron. If you can leave any suggestions for Aaron's nickname down in the comment section below, then when I get to Slateport, I will fix Zephyr and Reservoir's name and I will also give 